In Tableau 2020.2, Tableau have added the ability to add high visibility data quality warnings. This basically means that any quality warnings that you've added on a data set become highly visible um, in a view. That sounds like a complete tongue twister and absolute jargon, but let's have a go at showing you what that actually means. Okay, I'm going to go into a visualization. I'm going to go to this one you can see here where I built an example link out to a Salesforce item. Okay, the key thing here is I want to see a data quality warning here in context of this visualization to tell me if there's any issues with the data set. I'm in the visualization. I don't see anything here right now. Now, what I could do is I could go back one step and look at my views. So this is this is this is typically how I'd access the views, but not many people think to go to data sources and just to check if there's any issues on this particular tab, or even better, go back to the lineage, which is part of the data management add-on, and actually just check if there's any sort of historical issues or challenges that this particular data source presents. So what Tableau have done is they've added the ability for you as an administrator or an owner of a data set to add high visibility warnings. And so let me just show you how that works. At the moment, you'll see that this column here on the left hand side with this exclamation mark is empty. There's nothing there. And this is where typically the quality warnings would appear. So let me just zoom out a little bit and let's just set one of these up. I'll tick quality warning and you'll see here that I have the ability to enable the warning. I can choose what kind of warning I want. I'm going to just set a standard warning and I'm going to make this highly visible. OK, and I'll basically just type something sort of basic in here. Um, OK, I'll just put a generic one. Obviously, you'd need more descriptions in there. But bear in mind that users will actually be able to see this and you have 4000 characters. So you can actually put quite a lot of detail in there. OK, so we've added this quality warning. I'm just going to hit save. So it persists that uh, warning. And now you can actually see two things. You get this toast icon here at the top. This is a toast uh, notification, actually. I can clear that away now that I've understood that the, the notification is there. And then I now get this new indicator here on the left hand side to tell me that there's a warning. And when I click on that, I actually get some context. OK, so all the information I typed there, the date, who's typed it and the warning is all available to me as a user. OK, so now the real secret is if I go into a dashboard with this particular data source used, will I get that warning? Let's have a look and see. So let's go back to the home page. We previously were looking at this particular view. When I click on it for the first time, I go straight into it. But notice I get this notification straight away. Important data quality warnings affect this view. And if I open the data details, you'll see that that's also available there. But when I zoom out, it's over here on the right hand side. So this information that I've typed in actually sits in context with my view. So if there's issues with a field or a calculation or any particular problem with that database, maybe the data is stale and you know refresh isn't updating as often as it should do those notifications actually come up here and I get full context as to what's happening. That's really important for transparency with your data sets, especially in the business where data can change really, really, really fast. OK, if you want to hide this, you can just hit X. If you want to bring it back, you can actually see the data details here. So you can always bring that back as and when you need to if you see this icon enabled. That's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Or if not, drop a comment below and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see.